Hey guys, welcome back. I was able to go uh, fish again this past Sunday. This time I was actually able to go with my dad, which is uh, always fun. The, the first, or I guess the last video I posted, I was just by myself, which is also fun, but always a good time when I can uh, go with my dad. Uh, we've been uh, fishing together for many, many years, so it's a uh, family tradition I hope to pass along with uh, my son as well. Um, I wasn't able to, to uh, film an intro as I was driving out to the lake uh, this past trip, so I wanted to take some time and film one now and real quick just kind of go over the conditions, uh, what was going on, and some of the baits I was throwing. Um, in, in the last video, uh, I was also catching them on top water, but it was super sunny and the fish were absolutely positioned in very specific spots. It kind of made it a little bit easier to figure out where they were going to be. They were definitely using those shade lines. As the sun got higher up, uh, the bait fish would creep back into these pockets and you may not think that fishing shallow, uh, you know, in the dog days of uh, summer is what you need to do, but that was absolutely the case. Um, I, I would just, you know, go back in these pockets, look for the shade lines, and, and that's really where these fish would be set up. Now, this past trip, it was cloudy the whole day. Um, it was raining on us a little bit. Um, we ended up having to leave the lake early because because of storms. Um, so I went to where um, I had found the fish the previous week, and they just weren't there. And you'll hear uh, me talking at the, the very part, front part of this video that... Uh, I mentioned something about I don't believe that uh, you know thousands of fish just leave you know this part of the lake and go to the other end of the lake. So instead of making a really long run, what I decided to do was just fish some nearby areas, nearby points, and nearby uh, really long flats. Um, and as I was telling my dad that I was going to go fish this area, uh, we ended up seeing them uh, start coming up to the top and, and schooling just like they were the uh, the past weekend. So that was. Uh, that was certainly funny. So we had another great day uh, fishing topwater, uh, catching some really good fish uh, for you know as far as spotted bass go on, on Lake Altoona, which is really fun. Uh, one of them actually straightened out one of my hooks on my uh, evergreen topwater, which I'll show you here um, in a second. Um, yeah, a great time throwing topwater, lots of fun. And uh, mainly I kind of rotated between uh, two baits, the, the first of which is a uh, Berkeley Chapo. This is the 105 size, and I do prefer this bait over the Whopper Plopper. It makes a lot more noise. Um, it, it's been a really, really good bait uh, for me the past couple of years. So again, this is the 105 size, and this is Perfect Ghost. The thing I like about the Perfect Ghost is it is a good shad imitator, but also with the blue and the, the brown on the back, um, it's a pretty good uh, bluegill imitator, um, you know, in my opinion. So the thing I like about this is with one bait, I can uh, you know, fish for the school and fish, so I can fish it out deep, fish it over these, uh, you know, these brush piles and, and these points and for these school and fish, but I can also, with the same bait, same rod, same everything, pull up shallow, immediately go into some of these pockets and um, even some main lake banks that have some shade and uh, also fish for basically, diff you know, different type uh, of fish, um, you know, gill eaters essentially, uh, you know, fish that are staying shallow and really more focused on those bluegill rather than out uh, chasing those shad. Every now and then those, those shad and those schools of fish do move up shallow, um, but I can essentially do two things with um, one bait, which is awesome. Now, towards the end of this video, you will see me lose uh, a, a big, a largemouth. It was absolutely the, the biggest largemouth I've hooked on Altoona. A couple weeks ago, I posted a video of me catching a, a probably about a three and a half pound largemouth on a, a jig. Um, and this fish was absolutely bigger than, than that one. Um, and I hooked that fish on the new bait. This is the first time I've ever thrown it on the, um, the Mega Bass Eye Loud. This is a four inch bait. Um, it is, it's about an ounce and, and a lot of wake baits are really hard to cast. They, they don't weigh much. So it, they're kind of a pain. So I was looking for some wake bait style baits similar to, you know, uh, the Whopper Plopper and that I wanted something to have a little bit of, uh, you know, noise. Uh, which is great because the the eye loud certainly uh, certainly has that, but it also has a really subtle uh, wake action. So this is, I believe, it's the GLX um, uh, gill color, uh, and you'll you'll notice in the video as soon as this thing hit the water in the, in this pocket I was uh, targeting, uh, I got uh, it, it just got crushed, and unfortunately I, I didn't land the fish. Um, truthfully, I think my rod is a little bit too stiff. 
um, I, I was throwing um, braid and I think I needed uh, a rod more similar to what I throw my normal top waters on something with a little bit of give and that, that was my fault um, didn't get it in but it still an awesome bite um, you'll see me jumping up and down uh, just being super frustrated the the main bait, however, that I've been throwing the past couple weeks, um, it's a big bait, uh, and a lot of people don't think of throwing big baits on Altoona, uh, but as you can see from the footage, it has been absolutely lights out. This is the Evergreen Shower Blows, the color is American Shad, and this is the 125. So this is a big, you know, three treble, uh, you know, uh, bait. It casts so far, I can hit these schools I mean, I, I can cast my reel out. Now I'm throwing the Revo SX um, with a 65 pound braid and I can just empty the reel. I'll throw in this thing. It casts great with the wind, but also casts great into the wind. And that can be a big uh, ordeal when, um, you know, if you're not familiar with bait casters, casting into the wind can make you want to go home sometimes if, if you're just dealing with backlashes all day. So this is an awesome bait. It casts super well, super aerodynamic and they have just been absolutely crushing it. You'll notice some of the fish I'm catching have this bait uh, in, I mean, in their throat. Uh, fortunately, I haven't uh, killed any. I, I don't know how they, they haven't gotten um, injured with, with the way that they've been eating this, but it, it has been awesome. Um, so definitely check this out. This again is the Evergreen Shower Blows 125 American Shad. And I got all these baits at the dugout in Marietta. Uh, definitely go uh, check them out, dugoutfishing.com, uh, and uh, check out their shop. It is by far um, one of the best shops I have ever been in, and I've been going there for decades now. So um, Craig and, and Jamie and the team will certainly uh, get you what you need, so check them out. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get to the footage. Hope you enjoy it, and uh, I'll leave a, um, a link in, in the, uh, um, the description below for uh, all, all the baits and, and everything. So if you're interested, you can just click there and uh, and check them out. So let's get after it. I don't. I mean, I don't believe like thousands of fish just suddenly go to the other end of the lake. So if it's caught, like, see, this is all one giant flat. When I was right, catching. Right. Turn the boat around and get the camera on. He inhaled it. Oh God, eat it, eat it, eat it. 
Little guy got it. Where'd you get him on? Blue. Tell your mama, I want her. Over here. Smoked it again. Oh God. Oh no! Wake bait. Jake. Oh, no.